Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio. My name, of course, is Obert Potato, and today we are going to be doing two very, very important things. Numero uno on the list of things to do. We need to actually, finally, at long last, get round to building another iron processing area. It's long overdue, but it is due, and that's important. Alright, so, what are we going to do? We're going to try and make this into a blueprint. That's, uh, that's the first on the list of things to do. Let's get a blueprint for ourselves. Indeed, I would enjoy that immensely. And, uh, and let's literally just take this exactly as... Let's, uh, let's try and get as much as we can. Not like that. All right, like this. There we go. Okay, so we don't include the underground belt. All right, that's what we need. I think that's uh, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's create the blueprint. Okay, great. So, where are we going to want to plonk this down? Well, first things first, we're going to want to move that bad boy. I think we're actually going to want to move it over here because we do have a little bit of a logistics network. Uh, over here and by that I mean that we've got a passive provider chest over there which needs which needs access to the logistics network uh, that is totally doable uh, we shall do that right now all right that can go there and then on top we can place the robo port simple there we go everybody's happy Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt and Gertrude's your sister all right um what do we need to place down? We need to place this down. Now, where do we want to... That's not the right button. I meant to press the... To press the rotate button? To press the rotate button. All right. So, ideally, being parallel would be nice. There we go. Something like that. Something like that would be lovely. Um, but I don't think that that is going to be a possibility. So, we're going to have to move it up by a few, I think. Yeah, you know what? Oh, is this the wrong way around? I think it should be like that. Yeah, it should be like that. All right. Will that work? I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think we're going to have to move it up like this. And across one? No, it's going to have to be like this. All right, and we're going to have to remove this pole as well. Okay. I'm down with that. Put that back. Remove that. Where is it? There we go. Get that bad boy out. And then place it down just like so. That can go there. Beautiful. Now, what do we need to add to the... We need 36 furnaces. Eight. Okay, goodness gracious. We have a lot of stuff to put in. All right, well, at least we've got all the belt. We've got all the belt down. Okay, what what can I do on my person right now? Probably medium electric poles. That's something that we don't have at the moment, although we should have soon. All right, what else did we need? We needed chests. I can probably... I can't make any chests. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. I've forgotten my roots. I don't have any wood left. That's crazy. I don't usually carry wood anymore, but hey-ho. All right. There we go. Make me some chests, that's fine. In the meantime, I will go and get some steel for some medium electric poles. In fact, you know what? Screw the steel. Forget about that. Let's go and sort out the basic inserters first. In fact, you know what? I am just going to plonk one passive provider chest on top of that there chest. And that should sort you out for 88 basic inserters, that's fine. Uh, we need some basic close inserters. We're going to need a fair amount of those. Let me get some of these. I'll just order them all up. Beautiful. What else? 36 furnaces? We should have a fair amount of furnaces on us. Yeah, we do indeed have 50. That can go into a passive provider chest that is right there. That can go in there. Perfect. Uh, what else? Electric poles. Well, small electric poles, you say. I can do small electric poles. I need some more wood. 
But I can do small electric poles. I can totally do small electric poles. Alright, there we go. Perfect. So as you can see, things are coming along nicely. It's it's great that we're uh, that it's all working together and and whatnot. That's very nice to see. Uh, we need two two bits of underground belt. We shouldn't need two bits of underground belt. Where would we need underground belt? I mean, I'll add underground belt to the mix, but I don't know where it's gonna go because I'm pretty sure I excluded that. There we go. Let's stick the chests in there. The 20 basic smart inserts, basic smart inserters, basic close hand inserters, that's what I meant to say. Uh, and six small electric poles. Both of those I can do. Uh, tick small electric poles, I meant medium electric poles, that's what I meant. There we go, have that. That should be fine. That should sort you right out. There we go. How dandy is that? That's looking fantastic. Oh, I see it. Okay, I see that. Yeah, we don't need that. Basically, that's that's there, but we don't need that. That's that's fine. Well, I did not expect things to work as well as they actually did. That worked pretty much perfectly. Yeah, that worked basically perfectly. And think of the time that we've saved. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's productivity for you right there. That was... That was something else. That was really kind of special, actually. Uh, we saved a buttload of time, and now we're going to get a buttload more iron because of it. So, everything should be split equally here. That's what we like to see. Yeah, it should all be equal. Uh, we should could probably do with speeding this up, actually. Alright, that there, that there. Let's get some fast, long underground belt. We'll get two of them, why not? Good, good, good. You know what? We can probably do with speeding this up as well. Perfect. But yeah, everything is uh, is coming along smoothly. We've got a lot of iron. We can backlog it a bit. I'm not too bothered. You know, our system, our system, or at least this part of the system anyway. I've kind of forgotten to do it in other places. But this part of the system incorporates uh, incorporates the nice little uh, nice little backlog feature, which is really nice because it means that uh, that we don't have to worry about about dealing with our problems right now because things will just backlog up for us and then we can deal with them later. I mean, how fantastic is that? That is pretty darn fantastic. All right. You are giving me gears. That's great. I don't have any iron gears actually at the moment. Well, I've got 24. Um, but that is not enough. That's not the 100 that I requested. Thank you very much. All right. So... It's not going quite as fast as we would like. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to try putting this splitter in here. Right? That should mean that things will go a little bit faster. In fact, you know what? No. I'm going to move this back by one. Alright. We're going to move it back to there and there. Just so it looks a little bit better. And so we can actually see, you know, what's going on. All right. But, you know, at the end of the day, this should mean that it's it's getting spread equally across all of them. Pretty much. I, I don't think there should be any problems there. That's looking pretty darn good, I must say. It's looking, it's looking fairly good. It looks like we're saturating most of this belt. I mean, this is still, this is still tier two belt. We need to remember that. And that's something, something that we, uh, that we oftentimes forget. Uh, this is still tier 2 belt. We haven't even invested in the third tier of belt yet, so that's just not something we've done. It is something that we will do. Mark my words, because hell yeah, we need to. It's essential. It's all, it's, it's, it's very essential. It's all essential that we upgrade all the belt eventually. Probably, maybe, I don't really know. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, who cares? Um, we, we are going to upgrade it. Totally, totally going to upgrade it. Uh, we're actually going to put another splitter in here so that we can try and saturate this belt a little bit more, because by the time it got it, it gets here, it's 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 being delayed, or this this stuff is being delayed. So we're really only filling out one belt, which is just not good enough, I'm afraid. We're going to need to fill out a few more belts than that. All right, there we go. That should effectively mean two full belts 
or two almost full belts of iron, which is probably about as much as we can hope for at this stage. I think two full belts is a substantial amount of iron, and we're actually talking about a serious amount of iron ore, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had some iron ore supply issues uh, fairly soon. Uh, already we're starting to see it develop a little bit up here. While we're here, while we're here, let's actually just say balls to the wall. Let's get rid of this chest there. Let's say balls to the wall. Let us build another entire thing to process iron. I keep on clicking T today instead of R. It's just not good enough. All right, now this we actually can run parallel parallel should I say okay that needs to look like that great I think we just go for parallel with this oh we need to oh we're gonna need to take up that over there all right I can do that I can take up these things it's only gonna be temporary anyway um what was I saying all right let's get this down I think it should be like this I think this might work Okay, we need to get out the way, of course. But apart from that, it all looks good. Obviously, I don't want to make a mistake, because if we make a mistake, oh, that needs to be that chest needs to be cleared first. How how close is this chest to being cleared? It's pretty close. Plonk down some more construction robots. There we go. Have some more construction robots. We've got about a billion on us. Holy hell! Is that it? Is that all the construction robots we got? That's a fair few. I'll actually take half a pile of stone just in case. Wow. It's a lot of construction robots. Why the heck aren't they moving stuff faster? That's right, they should be moving stuff faster. Hopefully they'll just put it in a storage chest over here. Yeah, it looks like they're doing just that. That's great, that's fine. Are you guys done yet? Oh my goodness, it's taking ages. Can we upgrade our robot speed or something? Because it seems to be taking a long, long time. Logistic robot speed. Yeah, I suppose. Is that the one we want? Do we not want construction robot speed? Is that not construction robotics? Construction robot mark one. Holy hell, we can actually upgrade them. Let's just do that. Let's, let's do logistic robot speed. It's been a long time since we've actually um, worked on an upgrade. So I feel that I, I, I'm completely justified in, in upgrading some stuff right now. I mean, it's going to kick our factory into overdrive. And by that, I mean, you know, it's actually going to start consuming blue flasks, which is going to mean that we're going to be consuming even more materials. Although, if we've planned it correctly, which I think we have also, we need to watch out for the copper supply problems. Uh, and that's something we're actually going to be addressing in the very next episode. We're going to be building a processing plant for copper. So stay tuned then. Uh, yeah. Basically, if I've planned it right, then it means that, the, that this won't actually have an impact because we should already be consistently and constantly producing blue flasks, basically. Uh, logistic robot speed, that's great, fantastic. Yeah, so we should already be producing these things constantly, but we're not at the moment because obviously we took up the, the underground belt that linked the electronic circuit production. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. Good. But anyway, with the with the addition of these iron processing plants, or these these plants, these areas, these iron processing areas, we are actually starting to see our factory coming together. Hurrah! It's nice to see. It's really good to see. All right. There we go. We want that. I'm pretty sure we want that. Yeah. Oh, we're standing on it again. Why do I keep on doing that? All right. What do we need? We're um, and I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to build it all. Right. A bit of underground belt. We do have a couple bits of underground belt, but wow. It looks like things indeed go... In, indeed go? Did indeed go quickly there. Alright, we need some wood. Well, actually, I do need wood for chests as well, so we'll get on that right now. Five more basic close inserters. Lots more woods. Also, I'll just take... I'll take some of those, actually, thank you. Get rid of that. And... 
more basic close inserters. Great. Perfect. Uh, what else do we need? 12 small electric poles. And 5 medium electric poles. Both of those are uh, are going to be totally fine. Why is this not going quicker? It's not the copper problem. It's the wood problem. How are we doing for power? We're doing okay for power. That's fine. Well, we should eventually get around to replacing these with quantum replicators because they're just much faster. Uh, we will eventually. Small electric poles there. Spotted them in my inventory. Uh, we can also do those bad boys. Oh, I will take most of them back because it doesn't need the entire stack that I've got. Uh, we've got 50, 50 chests. That's great. That's fine. 22 electric furnaces. Yep, have my entire stash. I've got more than enough. And one piece of belt just to make you feel happy. There you go. One piece of belt just to make you feel happy. Even though I know for damn well certain we're going to pick it up, but whatever. But that should be everything you need, right? Should be. Perfect. And just like that, just like that, we've got our third iron processing area. How crazy is that? It's pretty insane. Alright, what we are going to do is we're going to build one more of those. We are going to get our existing thingy. And when I say thingy, I mean belt. And we're going to upgrade this standard belt. Alright, that's going to go there. And it's going to go over here again. It's going to go to... In fact, it can just go all the way there, actually. In fact, that, that solves literally all of my problems. Literally all of my problems. Perfect. Uh, you can come down here. You can go up here. There we go. And... How are we going to do this? Because this... Oh, it looks like it'll just fit in. All right, beautiful. It'll just fit in. Perfect. Um, and there's a splitter already there to make sure that it's all split evenly. So, fingers crossed this works. Fingers crossed this works. I mean, it should mean that we've got iron everywhere that it needs to be. And that's important. It's very important. Iron should be everywhere that it needs to be. Let's make sure that we put these back. And when I say these, I mean uh, circuit production. Circuit production, I mean electronic circuit distribution. That's what I meant. Alright, that goes across there. Okay, it's going to come across here. Ah, you know what? That's quite a happy little place for it. Okay. And that can go there. And that can go there. Perfect. That works absolutely brilliantly, and it should mean that we are getting a full complement of electronic circuits back to uh, back to where they need to go. Primarily, these things are used for uh, for blue circuit production, so you know it's not immediately uh, a pressing matter that, that that it gets that done. It is a pressing matter that we make sure that the iron train is up and running because we we would hate to build or hate to go through all the effort of building all of this iron stuff, iron processing stuff to not have enough iron ore to process, which is what we're running to at the moment. Um, yeah, this entire area is going to need to be upgraded with fast belt because we're just not going to have the capacity. Ooh, not like that, thank you. Yeah, we're just not going to have the capacity to, to run it at anything but full speed. You know, things need to be fast, things need to be choppy. Uh, we can't afford to get sloppy. That was rhyming. And I can't think of anything to rhyme with that. I was I was trying to be cool. Think of something to, to rhyme with. But hey-ho. Uh, do we have any red splitters? We do not have any red splitters. What a crying shame. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, we did have... Alright, give me some big underground belt, please. Okay. And this can travel all the way down here to there. Basically, by upgrading this, it means that we can get more iron on the belt. And more iron on the belt means more throughput. More throughput means more iron processed at the end of the line. 
Uh, that's pretty much it. That's the only reason why we're upgrading it. Not because I want everything to look red, because I think red's a pretty color. It is a pretty color. It's uh, it's it's not worth all of these resources if it if it wasn't worth something. All right, this is the big one. This is going to speed everything up. Uh, of course, we still need to make sure we speed this up. Good. So at the moment, we can see quite a significant portion of our iron coming from. Obviously, as our desire for iron increases, we're going to have to ship more of it in. And the way that we are going to do that, of course, is through the wonders of rail technology. Yes, that is how we are going to get iron um, everywhere it needs to be, through the, the wonders of rail. And we're almost done upgrading this. Will we have enough belt? I don't think we will. I do not think we will. But I'm going to walk back into robotic range so that I can get belt. I'm in robot range. Bring me, bring me some belt. See, I could go and get it. But if, if, if they bring it to me, then I feel much better about myself. There we go. Oh, they can get me some gears as well. Well, how very kind of you boys. Or, or girls, I suppose. Robots can be whatever they damn well please. Alright. Oh, look at how, look how even that copper looks. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Looks really, really good. Where does this underground belt go? Oh, it goes all the way down to that area to feed there. Okay, that makes sense. Oh man, things are going really, really well. Things are going really, really well. This is good. This is really, really good. I am very, very happy with what we're doing. By the way, that bit doesn't need to be changed. That's fine. It doesn't really need that. Um, that bit is just in place to make sure that it doesn't attach in a certain way and mess everything up. But it's okay. It won't do that anyway. It's fine. Great. Perfect. Let's get this down. Let's get that down. Let's get that down there that there and this here so basically this is fantastic basically this entire area was upgraded that's beautiful that's super oh, I'm really really happy with that actually Um, we need to fill this train up with something that is fuel based thankfully they've still got a lot of iron in their carriages at the moment why are you not unloading? Why are you not unloading? Why would you not be unloading from there? Is it because I've done it wrong? Is it because the F5? Oh god. Is it because... What? Doesn't make sense. Okay, so that's working now. I guess he must have just been trying to drive the other way. Well, this just goes to show that we really need to make sure that we've got a full complement of resources all the time. I'll pick that up because it's no longer needed. I will put that back down because it is actually still needed. Um, I need me some coal, please. I need coal, and I need it now. Um, because otherwise, our train is going to be staying here for a lot longer. How do we get requester chests? Requester chests are something I need. You know what? Requester chests. Requester chests are going to be done in the next episode and that will pretty much sort out our train dilemma. Um, so stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name of course has been Noble Potato. I hope you enjoyed some Factorio. I've certainly enjoyed playing it. I'm loving Factorio at the moment. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. How's our power? Power is still good. Good. I like to hear that. Our solar panel idea really seem to work. That's what I like to hear. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name of course has been Obra Potato. Tune in next time for some more Factorio later on in the week, and, uh, and I will see you then. Bye!